We have three basic verticals. One is uh, Loan Hub, uh, where we match borrowers and lenders uh, in the SME space. Uh, and there we engage with 80 different lenders. We have thousands of borrowers on the other side. Uh, and it's a you know pretty straightforward matching process that we've patented and have an algorithm around. And so we ensure the highest level of conversions uh, possible there. Uh, so success for everybody. Uh, the second line is uh, is an underwriting business, underwriting as a service, and that really is around automating the underwriting process for SMEs. Uh, you know, uh, again, as mentioned, there's a lot of data points. By a lot of data points, we mean literally hundreds of pages of documents that have to be uh, reviewed, analyzed, synthesized, etc. Uh, and that we license to lenders so that they can uh, underwrite SMEs much more quickly, accurately, etc. The third line um, is uh, what we're calling Namaste Biz. It's a neo banking app, uh, mobile uh, only app that allows the SMEs themselves to be able to manage their finances much more easily, seamlessly, and then also avail alone uh, seamlessly. Uh, so we're actually the first uh, company in India to uh, allow folks to both manage their bank account and apply for a loan in the app itself. When we first came, I think we developed uh, a, uh, a platform that was, you know, fully digital, and uh, we expected everybody to be able to like ramp up in it, you know, uh, from day one. And 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 the big learning from that was, you know, the the ecosystem wasn't quite ready, uh, and so we kind of took a step back and added in functionality that would enable people to work within our system, but also continue doing largely, uh, you know, what they were doing before. Uh, like for example, in banks, they have an offline underwriting process. Okay, that's fine. We'll provide you the documents digitally, and then you can offline underwrite. You know, so that was a minor change and tweak that we had to think about and learn and. It was, a, you know, I'd say, yeah, initially a big learning. I think in the more recent past, over the past year, um, you know, as we've expanded the team, we've learned a lot about uh, the importance of the team, uh, of the right people in the team, of, you know, managing the teams, uh, or various teams, right? We have multiple products, we have multiple teams, uh, and so just the importance of, uh, of, you know, kind of your team and the members in it and making sure that everybody's working in the right direction and towards the right direction has been uh, a great learning kind of over the past year. Yeah, so I think uh, if there has been a fundamental changes. Like if you break our journey in two phases, I think first phase was before liquidity crisis, which hampered most of the NBFCs, and the other is a post NBFC crisis. So pre NBFC crisis, the, the the main challenge for us was to establish ourselves and prove that the model, the asset light model in fintech for SME lending, is a scalable model, is a proven model, and and can withstand various economic cycles. Post crisis, I think that answer was already uh, uh, that question was answered. Then the, the the challenge today is that how do we get how do we maintain you know strong conversion rate of SMEs who are coming and applying on our platform despite limited and less banks available to lend to those guys. Right, this is post crisis, and I think we have done a fairly good job of yet maintaining our uh, the the core competency of our platform to enable highest conversion rate in the industry, despite uh, limited banks available to lend to SMEs, and continue to you know grow deeper into the the SME uh, uh, ecosystem. Right, so I think that's that's been the broadly two areas how we have seen the economic cycles, you know, pre and post financial crisis, and and today I think we are among the few fintech companies who have proven at scale how despite economic cycles you know if you have a deep tech uh, uh, you know fundamentals you can still make inroads in a in a big market like uh, SME lending in India yeah I think you know it's been a, a great ride and uh, over the past year I think as Gaurav mentioned we've really um, not just established ourselves but also proven out the model further with uh, with being able to uh, keep our conversion rate very high uh, on on the loans through working with a broader set of lenders, uh, and by you know again having our matching shine through uh, in this tough environment. So uh, you know I think the past year particularly has been rewarding from the perspective of you know establishing ourselves and then really proving out um, at a larger scale how this is working out.
Because if you look at it post crisis as well, it's a it's a supply which has been curtailed. Demand continues to be very robust, and 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 you know SMEs continue to be super underserved. So we've actually seen a much bigger demand uh, for our platform, which continues to outshine and be a biggest differentiator in the in the ma loan matching arena, even with limited uh, banks available today. Right. So so that's been I think uh, I would say uh, one of the key milestones that we continue to you know uh, you know uh, achieve uh, uh, in the tough tough market conditions. So, you know, our AI effectively helps us gather more data points, analyze the borrowers much more deeply, and thus avoid giving loans to borrowers that maybe shouldn't have gotten them, uh, simply because certain data points were overlooked. So that's kind of the most fundamental basis, is the technology allows us to gather, analyze, and synthesize much more data points than was previously possible. Uh, so, you know, we really avoid the error up front. So that's kind of the basis of it all. Yeah, clearly, I think Lucas has answered it. Just one more point is that SME underwriting is a data-driven underwriting, right? And AI is best suited for, uh, for an area which has much deeper data availability. Right? So when you club these two, it becomes a very powerful uh, you know, engine. And I think we are the only players in the market who have managed to club these two uh, you know, problem statements uh, and, and make, a, make a strong solution out of it, which is today enabling uh, even banks to disburse funds quickly, give credit out faster, make much better, much more informed, intelligent decision. And that's why a solution is in fact called Intelligent Credit Assessment Memo. Uh, uh, you know, which is which is which helps the traditional underwriting in traditional banks in in assessing SMEs faster, better, and and make less error-prone decisions. What has changed is the behavior of, uh, of MSMEs in last two to three years, and that's because of the advent of technology, advent of uh, you know uh, digitization in their day-to-day -day life. For example, GST, uh, you know, more banking uh, uh, transactions for MSMEs, uh, more receptiveness to apply online, more uh, acceptability to newer apps. Right. So SME has are behaving. To, this is the first time in the Indian. SME history or Indian landscape that SMEs are now becoming more and behaving more like a consumer, right? So that's a big, you can say, behavioral shift that we notice, right? And and that's where we see a big advantage for players like us who have been in the industry just before the this transformation happened and continue to uh, in order to thrive in it, right? So we are we are easily the early, not just the early entrants, but also the beneficiaries of this shift in the. In the, in the behavior of SMEs, right? Now, having said that, I think it's also very important that, uh, you know, uh, how now it's a challenge is on companies like us to prove that this adoption continues and it stays, right? So that's what we are really now working on. And that's where our, you know, uh, our, our foray into uh, and our expansion into new banking platform to uh, allow SMEs to continue their uh, acceptability of the, of the digitization and continue to embrace technology for their own good.